इंडिया को नंबर वन बनाना है दिस इज द न्यू स्लोगन ऑफ डेली सी एम एंड आम आदमी पार्टी चीफ अरविंद केजरीवाल Well, don't be fooled as he is only pitching himself as a national leader while the AAP is trying to expand its footprint across other states. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and if you're watching us on Facebook, give our page a like and if you're watching us on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the story in this video, I proved to you the Qatar connection behind AAP's social media handle let's begin in its four full page advertisements in prominent newspapers delhi cm kejriwal had a message for every indian that read my life has only one mission i want to see india as the number one country in the world we have been an independent country for 75 years now what a nationalist leader kejriwal is right but what if i tell you that the staunch nationalist like kejriwal had to resort to admins from the united states qatar and lithuania to manage his social media handle on the 17th of august a twitter handle named the indian affairs unleashed shocking truth about the aam aadmi party as well as arvind kejriwal In order to expose the not so amadmi's app the twitter handle explained how the official facebook pages of the political party arvind kejriwal app leader atishi app rajya sabha mp raghav chadha and others had admins living in the us qatar and lithuania The Indian Affairs team went on to reveal shocking claims. It alleged that Kejriwal's official Facebook page had 26 admins from India, one from the United States and one from Qatar. After the party was exposed, only 10 admins from India are left to manage the page. Rest all, including those from Qatar and the US have been removed along with 16 from India. This is what has raised red flags and led people to be suspicious about the party's movements. Currently UAE and Saudi Arabia are the most powerful nations in the Muslim world. These countries mainly used their oil revenue to fund other Islamic nations. Now owing to the emergence of green energy, Arab superpowers are increasing their ties with India. Turkey is slowly trying to revive its erstwhile Ottoman empire with the support of Qatar. Qatar is slowly turning into a cancer. While the Indian government is trying to tame the threat posed by Qatar, here is Kejriwal using their services to put the nation into danger. Meanwhile, the US has been blaming India for inappropriate treatment of the religious minorities and sometimes by calling out India for funding the Russia-Ukraine war as India was buying Russian oil. Moreover, it has been backstabbing India by supporting Pakistan to help the latter get out of the FATF grey list. Coming to Canada, the growing calls of Khalistan in the Punjab province have become a huge concern for the nation. Needless to mention, it was a Canada-based outfit that funded the farmers' protest in Delhi and played a prominent role in spreading misinformation about the revolutionary agricultural reforms. Considering the concerns over the nation's safety, we have a list of questions that needs to be asked from the Aam Aadmi Party. Who are these people managing your social media handle? Are they Indian citizens settled in the respective countries? What forced the party to give access to the Facebook accounts of key functionaries to people settled in Canada, the US and Qatar? Isn't it a threat to Indian security and Indian democracy? How is it okay for the AAP to put national security at stake for their political benefits? The government needs to take charge and investigate the matter as no political party should be allowed to risk India for any reason.